Hi, I am Dr. M. Jo Koshik, Andrologist, practicing at Caroline John Hospital, Nagarpoil. Today, I am going to discuss about microsurgical testicular sperm extraction. So, first we should know for whom this procedure is indicated. This procedure is indicated in patients with azoospermia, especially non-obstructive azoospermia. So, for that, we should know what are the two types of azoospermia. Azoospermia means there is no sperm in the ejaculated semen. So, the two types of azoospermia are obstructive azoospermia and the second one is non-obstructive azoospermia. So, obstructive azoospermia is there is an obstruction in the passage of the sperm which comes out through the urethra which means there is a obstruction in the vas difference. So the non-obstructive azoospermia means there is a reduction in the production of the sperm which means there is no production in the testis. So in simple words the tank which has the sperm is empty and there is no more production inside it. So in the case of non-obstructive azoospermia, we can plan for microsurgical testicular sperm extraction which has an enormous success rate of around 70 to 80 percent if we properly prepare the patient before the surgery. So how can we tell that there is uh, like when there is no production, this micro TSA will help. If a person has come to us with non-obstructive azoospermia, it means in his ejaculated semen there is no sperm. But if we see for the intratesticular sperm, there is a high chance of finding spermatogenic foci, which means there will be at least some areas which will have a sperm which is able to fertilize the egg but it is not ejaculated in the semen. So in microsurgical testicular sperm extraction, we will magnify the testis after opening it up to 30x of magnification. And in that magnification, first we will try to find out the spermatogenic foci. Once we find out the spermatogenic foci, we will be able to take out that spermatic tubules and we will tease it and we will see it under the microscope. So once we find a sperm inside that spermatic tubule, usually what we do is we will freeze it. So in this case, the success rate of getting a sperm in case of non-obstructive azoospermia will be as high as 70 to 80 percent, which means out of 10 patients with non-obstructive azoospermia, we will be able to retrieve the sperm in almost 7 to 8 patients. Even in case of Klinefelter syndrome or in, another gen in other genetic disorders also, even in Y chromosome microdeletion, we had found spermatogenic foci in their testis and we are able to retrieve the sperm in that cases. So, thank you about for listening the video.